Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I found an all-you-can-eat buffet in this lovely building. A lovely, lovely building. I'm gonna go inside. I'm super excited, so I wanna cut the intro short because I wanna explore the building, but I know there's an all-you-can-eat buffet inside. I've heard some great stuff. In fact, my Uber driver right there told me it was amazing. He goes with his family, they go regularly, so I'm on a hype now. Let's go inside. Ooh, British Curry Awards. That, my friends, is a good sign. Let's uh, go inside. Okay, guys, so I've sat down. First impressions are very good. I love the building. The building is actually lovely. I'm not sure if this is a wedding venue, but it will make a very good one. So what we're gonna do, actually, is I'm gonna head straight over to the buffet. I've just seen them pout like a, a big piece of lamb. I think that's every Thursday. I heard the chef say that. So I'm gonna show that to you first, and then we're gonna just have a little peruse of the items and start this review. I've got high hopes for starters, mains, desserts on this one. So yeah, let's go, let's show you that lamb. Look at this, this looks unbelievable. I think this is a portion for, for me, portion for one though. This is a big old portion. I'm gonna get this later, I'm not gonna get this just now, but this looks fantastic. So let me show you the, like, the salad bar and then we'll get our first plate. So I'm gonna walk you around, but instantly I'm happy. Why? Chicken salad, good bit of protein there. So uh, we're gonna just show you some shots. I'm gonna get a few bits and bobs, but uh, this is the salad bar and then the food I think it's gonna go starters, uh, mains, and then desserts at the end. The plates are in the warmer, which should be here. Bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna get a nice dollop of chili. And then I think we're just gonna sort of pick, ooh, some chicken pasta. We're just gonna pick at stuff. So we've got some noodles here, some mixed veg pakore. Nope, that's this one here. Oh, these are good actually. They look really good. So we're just gonna pick out a few starters, I think. I think a little bit of pasta, why not? These are really good to me, so I'm gonna have to get some pakore. These are really good, so we're gonna try at least one. I always get like one or two, and if I like them, I'll get more. Ooh, gotta get some chicken, a little bit of protein. I have done the gym, after all. And then one of my favorite sections on the start of this is the meat. So this is the chicken body, fish masala, and the wing, some uh, steak cut chips, why not, why not? You know, I actually can't help myself with chips, I can't help myself, so let's take this plate, ooh, let's get some lamb actually. So I couldn't walk past this guys without without trying some. Just a little bit is perfect for me bro, so I'll probably be back. <laughs> that's enough doing? for me, that's you perfect. A, a little bit of rice, just yeah, that'll yeah, be lovely, no just maybe half a spoon or something. Is it right? Yeah? That's perfect, thank you bro. There you go. Thank you. Bro. Let's take this plate back to our table. I'm quite lucky, I've come out of time, it's not super busy, they've just opened, and all my cocktails have arrived, but I've got a table in the corner. Okay, so I'm pretty hyped for plate number one, and uh, hyped for these as well, actually. So I've got a mango, I've got a kiwi, and I've got a strawberry cocktail. I've got three cocktails. I thought, let's get three, let's try them all. I am here, I feel like celebrating. What am I celebrating? Nothing, but why not, you know? Let's try the food. I think we're gonna try, do you know what? Let's try the lamb first. Let's try the lamb first, because it's a bit different. They've got a whole lamb leg, you know? Looks-wise, it looks incredibly soft. And I think I'm gonna enjoy that because it's actually got moistness to it as well. This lamb is absolutely delicious. The spicing in there is lovely. It's really soft, it's deep. I feel like it's been cooked for a long time, so it's cooked really slowly. So it's soft, but the juices are still in there. How are we doing this? We're starting. We are starting with a hay. Man, I am super shocked with that. Hopefully the rest of the menu lives up to that. I don't think the whole menu has to live up to that, but I want it to be close. This is the masala fish. We're gonna get two sauces in one. <laughs> I love masala fish. I always enjoy masala fish. That is actually pretty tasty. The lamb was delicious. The masala fish is tasty. We've got rice here, we've got this wing. Let's try the wing. Let's try some of this stuff and then get some mains. Let's get some mains. Start off so far on point. I'm looking forward to the mains and the desserts. I have no idea what the desserts are gonna be like. I usually like to come into these places blind. Um, the taxi driver did give me a little bit of a spoiler, said uh, the food is good, but that's all he said. He didn't say anything about desserts. He said he liked the desserts, so hopefully I'll like them too. I love a good wing. Whenever I see these in buffets, I always end up stocking up and having a lot. This is where I get my protein, you see. tender, soft, a good kick to that. I wasn't quite expecting that spice. I think if you're a spice lover, you enjoy those. If you don't like spice, I actually think they might be a touch strong for you. For me, someone who likes spice, these are absolutely delicious. I'm gonna go back for them. They've got a nice kick, but guess what? That's why I've got the cocktails. Let's go for mango. 
No need for Coke, no need for lemonade, Fanta, when you've got sort of fancy mocktails. But what we're gonna do is probably go for mains in a second, but I just wanna quickly try this chicken strip. It's basically like a chicken pakora in a way. So I wanna try that quickly before I go for main. Let's get a little bit of that chili sauce, which by the way had a good amount of kick to it. I love starters at a buffet. So far, I could honestly, I could come here, spend 18 pounds for starters, the rice and the lamb and be completely happy. Mains are still to come, desserts are still to come. But so far, I'm having a really, really good time. This is lovely. I wasn't sure what to expect because I've not been here before, you know, but so far, loving it. I wonder if the mains are going to match up to the stars. We'll see, we'll see. Ooh, how could I forget the pakora? I'm always a bit funny with pakoras. I prefer the pakoras, pakora, because I prefer the ones that have lots of um, spinach because it has crunch. I genuinely prefer that rather than the ones that have lots of batter, you know, besan. These taste like, you know when you go to Pakistan and you buy them off the side of the road and it's like a hundred rupees or however many rupees and you get like a massive, like literally carry bag full of samosas. That's what these taste like. I think it's time guys to get a main, but before that I'm going to try, this is kiwi. I don't think I've had a kiwi mocktail. I definitely prefer the mango, that's what I would get. But that's interesting, it kind of has like a fizzy raspberry kind of taste. Guys, is this biryani? Do I like biryani now? Is that, I like that, is that biryani? Is the rice biryani? Because I like it. But I don't know if it is. I can't say I like biryani now because I don't know if I do. But the rice is good. The rice is nice. I think, however, now it's time for me to finish this plate, move on to mains. Let's go grab another plate. Oh, I don't think people realize how much I like poppadoms. I'm going to get these at the end. One of my favorite things in the world to eat. Seriously, I love them. I love them, but it's time for mains. So we've got pilau rice, the best rice. Biryani, if you, do you know what, I'll show it to you guys. I'm not a fan of biryani, but I'll show it to you because I know you all love it. And then all these are mains. I don't know what I'm going to go for, but uh, we'll see. Definitely going to have some rice, 100% pilau rice. That's going to happen. We've got some dal going on. We've got uh, some veggie curry here as well. I think I'm going to get some of this. I feel like I need to get into more veggies and this looks and smells honestly delicious. So let's get in some veg. So we've got the gima mutter here. And then we've got here, the karai looks again and smells lovely. So might pick out some good bits of that and then go for some matur as well. Guys, you got to give me props here. I'm doing this all with one hand. There we go. As I said that, I messed up. I messed up as I said, it's not always the way. And then we're going to get some of this karai actually. Let's get a little bit. I don't want to get too much. I like to always get a little bit. And if I like something, I always go back for it. So just get a little bit of this. And then maybe we're going to find some naan. Right, we're going to get ourselves uh, just one naan, I think. Again, always get a little bit, and if you like it, you can always get more, can't you? And then I think we have to do it, brother. I think I need a little bit more lamb because it was delicious. Please. Just a little bit again. I don't want to waste any. Right. It was, it was delicious. I have to do more. That's a perfect amount for me, brother. Thank you. There you go. Lovely you job. Want to have rice? Uh, no, no. Oh, this is perfect for me. I tried the rice earlier. Here we go, so plate number two of, I don't know how many I'm gonna have, but I'm definitely gonna have three because I'm gonna have dessert, right? And then what I'll do is I'll probably go back and show my favorite items at the end. Try everything and then favorite items at the end. But for this plate, I think I've done a good job. I had to get the lamb again, guys. I just, I had to get this. And then we've got some garai, some mutter, some veggie, a curry, some rice, a naan. You know what would go amazing with this? It would be crisps. Who's had crisps and curry with dapa? If you haven't had that, then you, you should have that, and then you could talk. <laughs> Let's try the mutter first, the kima mutter. I don't know, I feel like it's just calling me, you know? Oh. I knew, I had a feeling about the kima mutter. I had a feeling, I'm gonna get that again. Spiciness is kind of on the perfect level because I feel like with mutter, you can, kima mutter, you can overspice it. The mince itself is perfect. Good meat to fat ratio. It's cooked really well, so it's like got a, a bite to it, but it's not super soft, but it's not overcooked where it's chewy. It's kind of the perfect amount. And the mutter just adds a little bit of a bite. The kima is getting a hay. Man, the kima is delicious. I can't even explain the balance between sweet and spice. Obviously it's a spicy dish, but it's got such a lovely taste. It's almost an undertone of sweetness, almost. I can't even describe it. But let's move on now to the chicken kurai. Let's get a good old piece of chicken. Usually, up for starters and desserts are buffets here, the mains are absolutely delicious. Honestly, I didn't expect that. It's usually the other way around, you know? It's usually the only thing of a buffet place, like 
Nuab's a great example. I like the starters. I like the desserts, but I don't love the mains. Here, loving the mains, and I enjoyed the starters. Hopefully, dessert is even better. Let's try a little bit of this um, veggie curry, actually. I just fancied getting in a bit of veg. Why not? I wouldn't have that veggie curry as a main. What I would do, which is what I've done, is have rice, and then have a bit of the veggie curry kind of on top with some meat, because the vegetables are cooked really well. Add a bit of meat on top of that would be perfect. Obviously, if you're vegetarian, you'll like the veggie curry. But for me, I'm going to mix the, the chicken curry with that veggie curry, and I think that'll be perfect. So I've just spoken to the owner. He said this is the listed building. And uh, look at the ceiling. Does that not just look pretty to you guys? I think it's beautiful in here. I really like it. And did you think I forgot about my strawberry cocktail? No, no, I didn't. Or mocktail, I should say. That may be my new favorite. Mango and strawberry are my favorites. Kiwi is at the bottom, but still decent. Something to note here, there's actually no alcohol on the premises, which I think is actually pretty cool. A lot of buffets sell alcohol now. These guys don't. I think that's pretty cool. Check me out with my trifecta of drinks. I got these colors. I got three colors. Uh, mango, kiwi, and strawberry, all delicious, but definitely these are the favorites. But we're gonna move on, guys, because I'm a bit excited for dessert. Honestly, I'm pretty excited for dessert. I want you guys to stick around and see that. But first things first, I gotta go back to that lamb. I know I said I'll wait till the end, but I couldn't help myself. I got very lucky. I came here on a Thursday. I think the lamb is a Thursday special. 99% sure on that one, but <laughs> I can't help it. I was supposed to be reviewing, but I had so much fun. I'm forgetting about the room. I'm just getting back to stuff I like. The guima is too nice. One of the most authentic, delicious guima I've had anywhere. Desserts wise, guys, I'm going to be a little bit greedy. I just fancy some dessert today. So we're going to get some kheer, maybe a little bit of fruit, maybe this trifle. Maybe. I had uh, some jelly and then some glubbies as well. These are actually made in-house, which I think is pretty cool. So I'm obviously going to try them. I do love a good glubby. So I'm going to do dessert in a second, but how nice is this? Every time I, I look around, I see something. Oh, that's a nice chandelier. Anyway, how, how nice is this? I'm so focused on the food. Honestly, every time I look around, I see something else, which is like really pretty. So I got a little bit of everything. So a bit of jelly. Fruit trifle, a little bit of fruit, why not? Let's keep it healthy. Some kheer going on, one of my favorite desserts. Glubbies, which are in-house made with some ice cream. I think what I'm gonna do is actually go for the trifle first, just because, I don't know, there's something signaling, signaling me to try this. I love a good trifle. That was a massive, massive spoonful. Lots of custard, lots of jelly, lots of fruit. The trifle is a good way to finish a meal. What I'm gonna move on to is actually the glubbies with the ice cream. Always love when restaurants do stuff like that, you know? Take the care and effort to make it themselves, because obviously they could just order it in. But I like when they take the extra care and effort to make things themselves. It just shows like a little bit of extra, you know, attention to detail and care. Two takeaways. Number one, mint ice cream does not go with glub jamun at all. Number two, the glub jamun are absolutely delicious. I love that they're small as well because then they're actually bite sized so you can have as many as you want these are very good I think I may need to get more of the trifle but let's try the kid next the kid has a very very homemade taste to it if you get one of these glubbies you put it into that kid then my friends you are on to a winner mm. right now I just want to be left alone I can just eat this enjoy my evening in this lovely restaurant and uh, just have a lovely, lovely time. This is a great place to bring the family. Highly recommend, particularly for this area. I don't know any other buffets like this in the area. Certainly not ones with this beautiful building. And like I said, it is a, it is a wedding venue. So I'll leave the details in the description if you're looking to get married. There you go, right? There you go. I have helped you in your quest to get married, okay? So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, really enjoyed the food, highly recommend. But if you guys wanna see another playlist for the Bradford area, which is kind of close to here, all you've gotta do is click right here. And if you wanna see another video that you haven't seen before, just click right here. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all in that next one. Bye, 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 bye.